Hey guys, yours truly Kevin Gross reporting to you from my hometown of Baltimore. Got a interesting tidbit to show you. I'm on Lloyd Street and that is in between Lombard Street and Baltimore Street. And the reason why I'm here, behind me is Maryland's first Jewish synagogue. This is called the Lloyd Street Synagogue. Um, very historical. I'm going to show you the dedicated sign that they put here in 2005 talking about this place. This area used to be um, a lot of Jewish people in this area. Some of the delicatessens are still around, but the Lloyd Street Synagogue was dedicated in 1845, is the first synagogue erected in Maryland and the third oldest surviving synagogue in the United States. A simple, elegant building in the popular Greek revival style. It was designed by Baltimore Hebrew Congregation by Robert Cray Long Jr., the most prominent Baltimore architect of the 19, mid-19th century. The first ordained rabbi of the United States, Rabbi Abraham Rice, served as the congregation's first spiritual leader after immigrating from Barbaria. This beautiful old synagogue not only remains an important landmark in the history of American Jewry, but also stands as a symbol of Baltimore as a port of entry for generations of European immigrants. Three successive congregations occupied this site. Baltimore Hebrew Congregation 1845 to 1890, Central uh, European Jews. Uh, then it was St. John the Baptist, Roman Catholic Church, 1890 to 1905, and then Lithuanian uh, Lithuanian Catholics, and then the um, Shamrai's, uh, I can't even pronounce this, uh, from 1905 to 1963, and they were Eastern European Jews, each of which altered the building to meet its congregational needs. When the building was threatened with demolition in the early 1960s, the Jewish Historical Society, now the Baltimore, the uh, Jewish Museum of Maryland, purchased and restored the congregation as a historical site. The restoration preserved the original wooden pews, women's balcony, cast iron fence, the magnificent painted glass windows, and the lower level, a study hall, a chapel, social hall, ritual bath, and an oven used in the baking of Passover uh, matzah, which is unleavened bread, shed light on the congregation's role in the community's life throughout uh, through the decades. So, this is what this beautiful building looks like. But uh, as you can see, it was put on the historical registrar um, as well. But yeah, this is a place that most people uh, don't get to see or know about. And I want to let you know uh, actually, down the street, like I said, it's here it is here. The building here so I'm not sure if I can get into it or when it's open but the Jewish Museum is right over here if you ever do come down here and they may do tours inside who who knows but I wanted to let you know about this like I said right up the street here is Baltimore Street and down the street here is um, Lombard Street and there's a whole bunch of um, delicatessens uh, matter of fact, one famous one is off the street closed Lenny's a couple years ago, but uh, Alderman's is still over here with the blue awning, and then uh, straight down here is uh, what is this one called? Weiss's Deli. So you can get some good, good um, corned beef sandwiches, which are known for in Baltimore but yeah this is the the Jewish Museum of Maryland here and then as I said the Lloyd Street synagogue is right here so there's some hidden hidden history that a lot of people don't know about but like I said if you ever do come down here come on down spend the day and check out some good delicatessens like uh, you have Weiss's Deli here and then you have Altman's, which is over here on the corner. So it's a little pricey, but they give you um, a good selection, a, 
a nice cut of, of meat. Uh, I think they've got uh, pastrami and, and definitely corned beef and, uh, and all over there. So if you ever come here to Baltimore, definitely check out some of the delis here. And as I said, right here, this is Lloyd Street and you have the Jewish Museum of Maryland and then of course the Lloyd Street Synagogue. If you like this video, please make sure that you click down below and uh, subscribe to my page. This is another, actually another synagogue that's here uh, as well, right here on the, uh, on the corner. And this is what this one is as well. And this one was opened, erected in 1876. And it is the longest actively used synagogue in Baltimore. I cannot say the name. It's uh, Bon Israel Synagogue. 